Demon Time is the third studio album from Muru Massa. This one went a bit under the radar for me. I'd heard a few of the singles, but I've only just got round to it, even though it came out like September time. But it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good, to be fair. Pretty enjoyable mixture of, well, it's, it's all over the place, really, genre-wise. You've got garage here, you've got pop, you've got sort of indie rock type stuff. Um... There's like drill influences. There's a bit of everything on the production, so you know, and that's that's been Muramasa's bag for a while. And he's he collaborates with anyone and everyone. And he's clever and he's got some pretty established names on here. I mean, Shy Girls on here a few times, Pink Pamphras, Lil Uzi Vert, uh Parsalu, Skilly Bang, an artist called Layla, who I've not heard before. She's on Layla is on two tracks here. So, yeah, and overall, it's a pretty good, eclectic mix of music genres, artists, and productions, and they all sound pretty good. Miramasa is a great producer here, and the production here is pretty good for the most part. Um, Baby Cakes and Hollaback Beep uh, were two tracks that... Just inserting the self censor there so that YouTube doesn't demonetize me when they, I get enough subscribers to get paid. Um, but those two tracks were great singles and I enjoy them a lot. They're just they're just fun like pop tunes, pop hybrid tunes really. Uh, Prada is a track that stood out to me as well. I really enjoyed that one. There were a few tracks that sort of were just fine. They were enjoyable to listen to, but they're not stuff I'll probably go back to. But the track with Slow Tide disappointed me a bit. I think Slow Tide's performance, even though he's not really on it that much, I think was pretty good. But I just think the production is just a bit... It's just not doing too much for me. It's just a bit eh. For me, it's just it's a bit disappointing because they've had some great collabs in the past and this just fell very flat. For me, I, I, I think it could have just been thrown off the track list, really. I, I think Slow Tide could have saved that performance for something interesting, to be honest. It's a shame, really, because, as I said, Doorman is a fantastic track. Deal With It is another great track, too. But, yeah, no, I RYC, his last project, I was a bit disappointed by. I just felt like it was a bit inconsistent and there wasn't that much I went back to. But this is a lot better, and it's a shame this album didn't get much love or attention. I don't think it even charted in the UK, which I'm a little surprised by. But again, as I said, it went under the radar. But now this is a pretty good record. I, if you haven't listened to it, which you may have not done, because as I said, it's not really got the love and attention it deserves, go listen to it, because it's got some cool stuff on there, man. <laughs> 